What's going on, Simps? The Worst Duelist here with some local feature matches. Uh, we got round one here. We have Abyss, Ogadic, whatever, Chaos versus uh, Invoked Shadal. So we see the Chaos face come down, pitching the white, which is unfortunate, but uh, you know we're going to search to black, so then you'll be able to get the white back at some point. Still be able to get the search at least, but... Um, so we're going to discard uh, Nunu here. You're going to have to forgive me with these snake cards. I'm also watching this in, like, fucking one-eighth quality. Um, but anyway... We go Nunu, we go Normal Summon, we go um, King of the Feralims, so we're going to search. Uh, I think it's the one that you pitch and you can uh, send a light, or whatever it is. It's the opposite of Nunu, but um, yeah, so we see that happen here. Um, looks like we're going to special summon that guy by tributing. We're going to get this dude back. I think it's the one that searches. Water Lily, yep. Uh, I don't exactly know what all these guys do, so... Um, yeah, like I said, you're going to have to forgive me on that. We're going to see a Protector Whelp here, I think. Yeah, we got Protector Whelp coming down. Uh, we're going to see the Black come out. And we're going to go ahead and probably just go for the Guard Dragon plays here. Um, yeah, this deck is more like Chaos, Snake, Guard Dragon, Rocket stuff. It's a cool deck. It's definitely a cool deck. And you'll see why here in a moment. Um, my boy Ricky here is going to do some pretty spicy memes. Um... So we're going to search to boot off the striker we get here. Um, then we're going to probably play the striker. I'm not sure. Or not the striker. I mean, play the boot. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. Oh, I think that was LP, actually. Yeah, it was LP. And then um, we go Pisty here. We're going to immediately link them both away for our spheres. This is why this deck's sick, because he can tribute the spheres for the snake cards. Uh, it's pretty fucking sweet. So did he activate Water Lily? What did I see there for a second? Now he's going Water Lily. Um, I don't exactly remember what this does. I think it's summoned from deck, right? If you have five or more. So he gets that thing out. That guy says, like, if you uh, add a card, your opponent adds a card to the hand, you can discard a random card. So he tributes the spheres for that guy, and then he gets a Brotar, adding Levianir. Yeah, this deck's really, really cool. Um, I just, when I briefly spoke with him about it, he just kind of mentioned that the deck did have its issues. So um, I'm not really too sure. Uh, maybe he just needs to tweak it, but... Uh, so anyway, we're going to get the Levy down here, so we're going to rip a card. And then, of course, the Odetic King, I think is the one it is, is going to rip another card as well, which is uh, kind of silly. Um, so we see the IP coming down here, and then another Spheres up in the EMZ with the boot coming down for the Savage play. So we are uh, on the our Shadal Invoke players and Mr. Alejandro Cruz here. We are not going to have a good time against this board. Um, so, he's going to go ahead and put the counters on the Savage, equipping the Protector Whelp. I think he just passes. So, we see Alejandro draw for turn here. Um, and he's going to, let's see. He's going to play a Terraforming. It looks like he already has a Meltdown anyway. Um, but, I don't think that he read this card, which is rather unfortunate. Yeah, he picks it up to read it now. And, uh, yep. So, he's going to go ahead and get the roll and the discard. And we hit the Meltdown, um, and it looks like we're just going to pack it up here. He's seen enough. I think that misplay was pretty discouraging on his end. Just uh, didn't read that guy thorough enough, I guess. I actually don't think he read it at all, but anyway. Um, so we're going to go ahead, and we're going to start this time. We are going to draw our hand of five and see what's good. So we're going to go for Prosperity for probably three. I imagine three at least, because we're playing Invocation all the extra decks really tight, so... Looks like we got an Ash in Ricky's hand here. Uh, so he goes Alistair off the pot. Uh, normally Alistair, yeah, Ash. It's pretty unfortunate. So we're going to go Shadal Fusion, just wasting no time for Squamata and Dragon. Um, and then we're going to get the Winda. And probably going to go for a Wendy here. That's usually what he does on the, for like for the setup, he goes for Wendy into Beast. Um, at least from my experience of playing him. Yeah, that was a Beast he set there. So we're going to do that, and we've got anything else. We're going to set a back row. We're going to pass it up. All right, so what we got here on the Chaos Rocket bullshittery? We got a Terraforming coming down for a Layer of Darkness. Okay, that's um, pretty absurd. That card's kind of insane with all these snake cards. Uh, so we're going to go Layer. We're going to pitch Nunu again, it looks like. It's kind of, like I said, it's kind of hard to tell. I'm watching this in, like, fucking 116th quality. Because these are the videos are in 60 frames now, so that's really cool. I didn't realize that my phone had an option to go for 60 frames. So we see tribute window for Snake Guy with layers effect. Um, I forget which one this is. I, like I said, you're gonna have to bear with me. I'm not really too sure. 
Um, so yeah, that's an insane interaction. So let's see what we got next from Mr. Ricky here playing the Spice. Looks like he's thinking here on what, what we got. Uh, we got a quick launch. That's pretty good. And what do we got from Alejandro? Looks like he's thinking on quick launch. Uh, we have Rush It All Fusion. That's actually quite good. So we can get the window back. Try to like keep ourselves in this game. Uh, so we're going to get Tracer. I mean, I guess he doesn't really have much of a choice here but to just go Battle Phase. I mean, I can only imagine that's what we're going to have to do here. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to go Battle Phase. We're going to kill the window. We're going to add back the Shit All Fusion, I think. I couldn't really tell. Um, so we got Tracer going into Main Phase 2. Um, we should have, what, three other cards in hand? So we're going to go for Fair Lips. Um... I don't know what he summoned there. If that was Nunu, I don't think he could have done that. But anyway, it uh, doesn't matter. So we're going to go Feralimps for this guy. And he tributed the Beast. So, yeah, what we just saw there was the most illegal activation of Lair. Uh, after that, um, Alejandro just scooped because he's like, oh, that card's not once returned. That's absurd. And then, like, later on, it was, you know, <laughs> they, they were informed that that card is once returned. So, uh, yeah, but... Um, we don't actually see Alejandro for the rest of the video, but I will just go ahead and mention that after that, suffering that fucking meme-worthy defeat, he actually wins out, uh, the rest of his round, so good on him. Anyway, so we have Jad here with the Vegeta mat, uh, playing against, um, Lewis here with, uh, Trickstar, uh, but it's not actually Trickstar, it's like some Trickstar Drytron list, uh, we see him going first with the Cyber Emergency, and Jad is on 60 card pile, Dragoonity Chaos, Dragon Link, whatever, so I think that's the Alpha off the emergency on Lewis's side. Um, and then we go for that tributing. I can't tell which one it is, like I said. Uh, they all kind of look the same to begin with, and I'm watching this video in like a fraction of the quality. Uh, regardless though, we're gonna get the alpha effect. We're gonna go ahead and search uh, the Ben 10 here, which is pretty cheeky because, you know, of course that can search his um, Trickstar monsters which is pretty sweet. So we're going to go for Candina. I imagine this is just kind of like a Drytron core with a Reincarnation Droll, which is a pretty, pretty cool idea, actually. It's kind of sweet. Um, I mean, fuck that combo. <laughs> fuck Reincarnation Droll, but that's pretty cool on his end. I think that's Beta. I can't tell. So we're going to go Link Summon, probably. Yeah, the IP, I was going to say. I mean, there's not really... Unless he's playing Dragoon, too, in which case, fucking, you're a madman, but... Yeah, so we're going to go IP, um, not sure what else we got, we have a set back row, and we have what, uh, three cards in hand, I can't tell. So, uh, looks like maybe two. We see Jad set a back row here. Uh, well, I don't know, what's he revealing, a danger? <laughs> so we're going to normal summon black metal, we're going to go striker, we're going to, yeah, we're just trying to do our dragon link combos. Um, so he's going to probably chain block the... Striker? I'm not sure. I don't know which way he would do it. I imagine he would probably actually chain block the black metal so he can have the uh, the darkness metal to guarantee his place continuing. But it doesn't matter. We don't have Ash or anything anyway, so. So we're going to flip Reincarnation. We're going to go for Ash. Uh, it looks like we're responding with Droll here. I mean, I guess. My, I mean, you might as well. There's really no reason not to because he already did um, add his card to his hand. I'm not sure if that was in response. I imagine so, because then he could draw on res. That doesn't matter, actually, because he... I'm not sure. I'm not sure how the interaction works with draw. Like, if you have to respond on res, or if you could just, like, after they've added, you can just play the card. I don't know. I have to read it. I'm not pulling it up. But we see the Darkness Metal come down, banishing the Striker. Darkness Metal effect. Uh, reading Darkness Metal. Maybe double-checking the Errata. I'm not sure. Um, but we're just trying to see if we have some sort of interaction with it. Uh, so we're going to get the Black Metal back. Uh, what are we going to go for here? Romulus, probably. Are we just going Battle Phase, Kill, IP, Punch with that? Oh, yeah, we can't do more plays. We're under Droll. Makes sense. So we're gonna just going to go to Spheres, then? With, uh, what is that? Maybe probably a Set Tidying? I know he does play one, uh, like, literally, he plays a one of Book of Moon, which is fucking <laughs> meme-worthy. So it could actually be the Book of Moon. But, yeah, we're just going to go Spheres here, because we can't really advance our game state. It looks like we're probably just going to pass it over to Mr. Lewis here. Uh, he's fucking got foreign German, yeah, fucking Jad's the worst goddamn European cards. 
I mean, actually, they're sick, but... Oh, I guess we're not passing here. Or maybe he did. Maybe maybe uh, Lewis did nothing in pass. I'm not sure. Alright, so we're going to Guard Dragon move LP. And we have Ash, because turns out we've just been holding the stones. So that is pretty cool. Uh, fuck you, Jad. <laughs> that is unfortunate, though. Uh, not really too sure where we go from here. Alright, so I suppose now his turn's over. So we're gonna go for Candina. And, um, what do we got here? What are we doing? We're doing, uh, Alpha Effect again. Looks like. Tributing Ben 10, which is, again, pretty neat interaction. You can search a Trickstar stuff, or you can just probably, um, go into... I can't tell what card that is. The glare's kind of getting me there. We can go into whatever that is. <laughs> oh, it's ultimateness. Okay, I see. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, card's pretty broken. This, I think it's ultimateness. A lot of stars in that thing. Still can't tell. <laughs> uh, so what are we doing here? What are we doing? We got a link play. We have the other Drytron and Grave. We have the ultimateness. I don't know how we're gonna summon it though. Unless he has access to Meteonis somewhere, that I'm just missing. Read an LP. Uh, okay, so that was ultimateness, and that's ultimateness. And what was the first card he searched? At? I have no clue. Sorry, the glare is pretty bad, so not really much I can do about that. My commentary has just gone to shit this whole episode. Sorry. So we have uh, normal of Candina, Candina effect, and then we have another reincarnation. It looks like um, so that's going to be pretty busted. I wonder if he's holding the second droll though. I mean, that means his hand was insane, which is probably why he didn't do a whole ton. If he was holding Ash droll droll, I mean, <laughs> that'd be pretty absurd. Um, so I suppose there is a chance for him to come back here. I guess this is the spell searcher. So he pops, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, it was the fucking, um, <laughs> the Drytron Ritual Monster. Um, I think it's the Draconis one, I'm not sure. I think it's Draconis, it doesn't look like the other guy. So we're gonna go Link 4, is that what that was, a Link 4? Oh, we're gonna go for Underworld Goddess, using the spheres. That's actually pretty broken, uh, because now we're gonna negate the LP, uh, because on some of that card negates um, all face-up monsters with photo controls, I think. Uh, so yeah, that's actually fucking huge on his end. Just uh, quickly reading the Underworld Goddess himself, just to make sure he knows exactly what it does here. Uh, we're going to go Battle Phase, punch over LP. And we're going to go ahead and set uh, the Reincarnation. So I imagine if he had the Droll, he probably would have just fired it off already. So he's probably going to wait to pull the trigger on that to see um, if we can stop him from sculpting his hand the way he'd like to. So he goes Summon Chamber. Um, just, again, double-checking that card's effect, making sure we're... Uh, completely aware of what's happening here. Uh, we got Ash coming down for that. No tidy for you, buddy boy. Um, so, I imagine Jad probably still has a minimum of three cards in his hand so that he can try to make some sort of comeback. Uh, he hasn't really used his whole extra deck at all because he wasn't a draw last turn, so he does have the ability to, you know, attempt to do something here. So, let's see what we got. I know that he's got to have at least one extender in his hand. And it's really all I need is one extender. Yep, we got black. That's really good. Banishing the spheres. So we'll probably go for, uh, oh, we're going for Remus here out of hand, which is broken. So we're going to try to get to Dragon's Ravine. we got a Romulus play set up as well. So we can search um, maybe Divine Lance or something instead of the Ravine. I'm not sure if he plays that card. Um, so we're going to go Ravine here. I know he plays Legatus as well. So he does have the option to get, uh, you know, Gate Yard online here. So we're going to go Banish 2 to Chaos Valkyria. What a god. Uh, doesn't look like he's going to use the effect, though, I suppose. Um, maybe he just doesn't have a, a target that he wants to send. Uh, anyway, so we're going to link into Romulus. Yep, makes sense. Romulus effects. Uh, I don't know if he still plays Glow. I know he was testing Glow early in the week, in, earlier in the week before we did the tournament. I'm not sure if it's still in his deck, though. Um... 
Lance would be a good target as well. So we're going to search white. And what are we getting? What are we getting? We're going to get a second ravine. That's right. He does play triple ravine. And, you know, ravine can just be straight gasoline in this deck um, occasionally. So. so it looks like we're pitching tidying. Looks like we had it anyway. Um, using tidying to get back chamber. Looks like we're going to use Tidying here. Get back Chamber. Uh, search. What is that? What are we searching? Searching Legatus. Um, so I guess he pitched for cost and chained. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, I mean, I don't know really know why he did it that way, but he pitched for cost and he chained. So he goes Pisty here. Pisty effect. Uh, guard Dragon move. Then we're going to use Pisty effect. In a special white. It looks like maybe he used Underworld Goddess there um, to negate the Pisty. So we're going to go for a sword. And then we simply just have Remus, Gaty Yard, Baby Rock, Crystal Wing. Um, so that is unfortunate for my boy Lewis here. Because it looks like that is well over 8,000 points of damage if we do get access to the Crystal Wing. You know, Baby Rock, pitch special, does not miss timing. So sorry. Um, but. Yeah, that definitely sucks. I mean, that's, of course, that's the only line. I mean, I guess he could go for Savage. Uh, he might actually just go for Savage. It's Omni Negate, so um, he's probably better off doing that, honestly. Let's see what we're cooking with. Oh, no, it looks like he is going to go for the Crystal. Um, so, sure, yeah, go for the Crystal Link. Um, rather unfortunate, Lewis almost had to come back there with that Underworld Goddess. Um, I guess he was just, you know, missing uh, a few key pieces. I'm not too sure when that um, reincarnation went off, uh, so I must have missed that at some point. Uh, but as you can see, this is unfortunately a wrap. I think they're um, figuring out like what the interaction with Underworld Goddess is. I just don't think that she loses attack, but the Boral Sword will still go up to 45. So, that'd be 15, 5 grand, 8k, and uh, yeah, that's it, that's all she wrote. Yep, and we see the concession there, so we're going to go into game 2 here. Shuffling up, it's done sliding, we'll see uh, what we got in store here with the spicy Drytron, Trickstar, Dot Deck. Um, looks like light stage. That's broken. Open the broken one up. Uh, search Candina. Candina and Droll. Uh, not Droll. Candina to search Droll. Cac W. Uh, looks like we're going to go Candina into Reincarnation. I imagine. What, what other play is there outside of Drytron plays? Cyber Emergency. Is that what that is? Again, Glare. It's pretty unfortunate. Oh, that was Drytron Nova. So we're going to Nova into... Uh, I think that is the rare the spell searcher guy. So we do have Emergency, though. Uh, looks like emergency probably into alpha again it's like right in that sweet spot in the glare it's hard to tell um, i guess we're going to find out in a second it's probably going to use it we're going to tribute yep we have alpha coming down probably going to go into ben 10 play imagine if droll was a fairy this deck would be absurd <laughs> that'd be fucking broken looks like we're searching Medionis. Medionis drytron Pretty sure it has like some sort of like uh, board wiping effect, like blow up all monsters or something. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I know the one guy deals with back row, Quan Quindarix. Uh, I don't know his name. I'm not going to pretend like I know his name. Normal Candina here. Uh, search into reincarnation, of course. Trickstar Mill in disguise. All right, so we got the cut offered here. What else we got here, Lewis? What's the deal? We're uh, thinking here we're going to go uh, for this guy, tributing the Meteor Strytron out of hand. Uh, what are we searching here? Maybe we're thinking on 
No, it's already resolved. It's on the board. What did he search? I must have missed it. Looks like that's a gamma. He looks like we see the uh, Meteor's Dryatron coming down, tripping both those guys. At least two of those. Um, all right, well, I guess that's the Medionis Dr Draconids or whatever its name is. So we're going to go for that guy, and then we're going to go for the IP. And probably going to set the reincarnation, possibly holding Droll, which would be rather unfortunate. The game would be a complete wrap if that is the case. So we start with Quick Launch, I think is what that is. Yeah, we start with Quick Launch. Uh, met with Ash. My boy is fucking just stays holding these ashes. <laughs> I guess it's the gold, bro. The gold floats to the top. So, what do we have in response here? We have droplets in response. Uh, ascending. What was that? Abza Router? You fucking broken bastard. Uh, and quick launch. So, that is um, that is quite the response, if you ask me. Um, so, we're just reading droplets here. Just double checking uh, exactly what is... The fine print on this card. Yeah, that's Absurider. What a fucking insane motherfucker. Yeah, I'll get my tracer anyway. No big deal. Um, so, yeah. We're going to negate uh, the Draconids and we're going to negate the uh, IP here. Can I respond with monster effects? You can go ahead and uh, reincarnation me now. It's fine. <laughs> um, sort of be just double checking card text because, again, Jad just has foreign cards. Lewis apparently isn't very well versed in the ways of the Dragon Link deck. Uh, so we're going to search Tracer, of course, off of our Abzurrather. Uh, maybe he thinks he's not supposed to get the search here. Because it's cost? I'm not too sure what, what the deal is with that. Um, so it looks like we're flipping the reincarnation, uh, tucking the hand, drawing a fresh mana for it. Uh, looks like his hand was kind of insane. I uh, can't tell, actually. Let me double check. Actually, his hand was okay. Uh, the paint would have been nice. It open Brotar, it's kind of, you know, like it is, no access to Dragoonity card, so that is uh, uh, a great. Star Liege coming down. Sending Phantasmic and adding Nocto. That's actually pretty fucking cheeky. Um, never actually thought about that play. Um, so, we're right, in a special Nocto. Of course, we're going to probably get the draw here. Uh, we're going to do the chain blocking, I imagine. So, yeah, so we're going to boot and then we're going to draw. Um, I'm not sure where these Candidas keep coming from. I'm probably missing something. I'm not I'm honestly really well versed in Trickstar because I didn't play during that format. <laughs> but these fucking Candidas are seemingly coming out of nowhere. Um, so let's see, we got Romulus probably coming down. We have not seen a droll, so kind of free to do what we will. Oh, I guess now we're going to get the draw off the Nocto. That's right, when it's leaked away, not when it's summoned. I don't know, I could still have that backwards. I don't fucking remember. I'm not pulling it up. Sorry, guys. Um, big Ungabunga Ape here. Can't read. So we added Ravine. Looks like we're going to boot out our Tracer. We're going to Tracer Pop Boot, getting us into the Dark Lock uh, through the extra deck. So we're going to get Recharger. Um, what else we got here, Jad? We still got a full grip. Dragon Link's just an insane deck. Um, so much advantage from seemingly nowhere. So what are we going? LP, we're going Pisty. Why are those guys darks? <laughs> Just so broken with the rocket strategy. And we're gonna go LP effect for darkness metal. Pretty nuts. Good thing that guy got Narada, otherwise we'd be in some real trouble. So we're gonna go for four, go for sword, yeah. Just race the sword. Get him for the OTK. We're gonna pissy back the uh, recharger. Looks like we're just gonna go for the savage. Just get it, get the damage, get all the damage on board. And of course, those guys are halved. 
due to droplets, so uh, IP is 250, and the Meteonis Dr Draconids, or whatever his name is, that guy is um, 2,000, so we got a 5k Boral Sword coming in. Uh, looks like um, 1,000 over the Candina, 3k over 250, and then Boral Sword for game, and that is a wrap, folks. Uh, we have Jadley on the Quick 2-0 against the Pretty cool Trickstar Drytron deck. Unfortunate though, we never got to actually resolve the girl combo. Uh, otherwise, the game probably could have went differently. He did all he could though. It's definitely a cool deck. All right, so we're just gonna get ready for uh, round three here. Packing up Quagmire Draco. What a jackass. <laughs> that card's insane in this matchup though. So I really don't blame him. Okay, so unfortunately, um, not only did I forget to record round three, but also I almost forgot to record round four. So what we just saw here was um, Remus discard, add Ravine, um, pitch, and then search Legatus, make Gatiarg, and then Gamma on Gatiarg, and then we go safer into black. So now we're caught up. Sorry about that. So black into striker, and then we're going to search white. And unfortunately, there also is quite a really bad glare um, for that center zone on Jad's end, but we do see him add boot and white here. Uh, I'll try my best <laughs> to explain what's going on. That was white into probably Romulus. Uh, yeah, it was just the table they were sitting at. The light is like directly above them, so quite unfortunate. I have to look out for that next time. However, we do see the Romulus here. Um, I imagine we added... A second ravine. I don't like I said, I don't think he's playing glow anymore. But we actually uh if, in case you haven't noticed, we do have a dragon like mirror match here. Yeah, it was second ravine pitching third ravine. Um, because I guess we just got it like that. So we're gonna send router and we're probably gonna go for the striker. Excuse me, <laughs> the tracer. So actually riding rocket synchron, so we might already be holding the tracer. Uh, yeah, we're going boot and we're probably gonna go for boot for looks like just maybe one. And that was Tracer, obviously, because he popped the boot. And now we're getting into the Recharger. Now we're going to go LP Pisty shortly. Um, yeah, so we have LP there. Oh, we have LP Striker. Um, makes sense as well. Keep the Pisty in case we get nibbed. Possibly have some sort of recursion. Um, then we have the Chamber coming down. Uh, imagine we're going Striker effect. Yeah, so Recharger, popping Chamber, getting back Striker. Uh, we have Gady Arg there. Uh, I don't know what that other card is. I think that's actually Pisty. I'm pretty sure that is Pisty there. Yeah, Pisty back Gady Arc. That's what happened here. Now we're going to link these guys off. This is a Delindrous Dragon, I'm pretty sure, that we uh, we just we just saw come down. Get out of that Dragon Lock. Go for our Gady Arc. Play with our Baby Rock anyway. Um, I guess when you got it like that, when, you, when you're holding Triple Ravine, Triple Ravine, I guess you got it like that. So we're going to see the Baby Rock uh, and the Gady Arc. We're going to go into probably a Savage. Oh, we're going to Chaotic. Okay, so we're going to end on the Tidying um, Hot Red Board with uh, the Spheres, it looks like. I'm not too sure what he added. Um, looks like... Well, I don't know what the deal with the Legatus was there, but yeah, I'm not too sure what I saw there. Uh, we Chaos Spaced at some point. We're going Link Summon into... Quad Boral, so we're just gonna continue, continue going here. Uh, Rocket Synchron, Quad Boral, special back uh, effect of that guy's special back. So we're gonna go Hot Red Savage. Um, yeah, set tidying. And that uh, with the Delindrous and the Romulus possibly going into Spheres or just leaving it all up. Uh, setting double, triple back row, looks like. Oh no, we have the, um, one of the links equipped. So we have double back row, we have a concession as well. With the one of Book of Moon, what a piece of shit. <laughs> All right, so I guess we've uh, packed it up here. We're going straight into game two. Um, the opposite Dragon Link opponent is starting off by Summon Safer Pitch Chamber. Um, into Striker. Um, see, this is unfortunate, though, because he didn't realize his mat was out of frame, so I don't actually know what he added the hand. But we're going for Boot here, of course. Um, that was World Legacy Guard Dragon, it seems. And then we have Chamber coming back. Um, I imagine Chamber Effect is happening as well to add tidying. We're going to go Link 2, probably into a Romulus of our own. Oh, a Spheres, he's going the safe route, trying to play through the Nibiru here. In case we did side into Nibiru's on Jad's end. Um, so we go Tracer off launch. Yeah, it looks like a launch. I'm trying my best here, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> LP and um, Effect to move. Yeah, like I said, I was kind of, I almost forgot to do this. So I was kind of rushing when I did my setup. I didn't make sure the mats were, um, you know, perfectly aligned. 
something I'm going to have to try to get better about in the future because I do want to record the future matches. Um, I don't know what's happening here. I think we might be thinking on uh, LP effect. Uh, so we're going to go LP into black metal um, for the greedy play. <laughs> uh, we're going to go Pisty. The guard dragons are mad at each other. They got into a fight. Um, they're blaming each other for uh, Agrapane getting banned. And we're going to go Pisty back to Tracer. Uh, and then we're going to link these into the Romulus now. Probably going to go for Ravine. I'm pretty sure neither of these players are playing Lance. Um, I thought, like I said, I did think Jad was playing Glow, but I'm, I imagine he cut it at this point because we haven't seen it in either of the games that we have featured him in. So we have Romulus. Um, yeah, we had Ravine was the ad. And then we're going Pitch Tidying because that engine is just absolutely insane. Um, and we're probably going to go ahead and send what here? Um... I don't know, but we have a Levineer coming down for three darks. Uh, we're ripping a card. Um, there was an Ash at some point. The Ash was on the Ravine. That's why we didn't add anything. Um, so now we're going to go Tidying back for Chamber. So Jad is only on three cards here. And it looks like our opponent is just going to give him no quarter in the regard of, um, you know, the Appaloosa for three and then the ending on the Savage as well. There's probably not a whole ton he can do about this. Boots for Recharger. Um... Maybe we're even going to go for the hot red play. And then we're going to go Tracer Pop. Uh, Guard Dragon, yeah, it looks like we're going for a Chaotic Magical Dragon. And then we're going to go into hot red, um, possibly holding second tidying. I really wouldn't doubt it. Um, this is the guy that actually blew me out in uh, my round two. The gentleman that Jad is playing against, the current turn player, with his full board of Sphere Savage hot red tidying uh, for my... Um, <laughs> For my Dark Ruler No More in hand, so that is quite unfortunate for me, but um, we'll see if Jad can pull it through. I, it's not looking very good for him, honestly. He's on three cards. Looks like we're ending on um, effectively three interruptions, but possibly more through Appalooza. So uh, we're going to draw for turn. And what do we got? Uh, we normal summon something. Again, I can't see that damn glare. It's fucking getting me good. Um, so we normal summon Tracer into Striker. Uh, and then we're going Appalooza effect on Striker. And then um, spheres, it seems. Uh, spheres into safer. Um, and then we go talents. Uh, and then we go hot red. And then that's a concession from Jad. Not much he could have done there. Just had too much. Um, you know, the hand rip. And then also the ash not really doing much. This is why I cut ash in a lot of my decks, actually. It's because I feel like this just keeps happening to me. So we're going to see the game three here. Um, they're going to get ready to side up. And then we'll see how that goes. Best of luck to both the duelists. I don't actually know the outcome of this uh, because I haven't actually reviewed this footage yet. But, I mean, of course, the mirror match just sucks in general, to be honest. I would fucking hate to play this mirror match. I mean, I effectively did when I played against him with Dragoonities, but, um, yeah, it is quite unfortunate. Mirror match is something fierce. It's very die roll-ish. I mean, there definitely is outplay. The... The Levineer is kind of huge in this matchup because you're just taking away just an extra extender from the opponent, so they just like are hindered even more so than they already are by just you know being on the draw as opposed to the play in the mirror match. Um, so, got some duelist shuffling up here. Got a cut from himself because he's a hot cheat stacking his deck. <laughs> uh, just also would like to say, um, Jad's opponent has the sickest Kingdom Hearts mat. I've ever seen. Unfortunately, it has cut off the the uh, camera here, so that definitely does suck. All right, so it looks like we're pretty much ready. We got a cut, cut here. I uh, got a quick shuffle here from uh, Jad, and we're gonna be off for the races. Jad will be on the play this time, and uh, we'll see how that goes for him. It's anyone's game at this point. Depends on what the sideboards are looking like. If we drew the side, if we saw the side, um, so. What to do, what to do. Oh, he actually let him go first. That's very interesting. I did not think that that would be the case. But um, we go into normal summon uh, Rocket Sinker on the Striker. Uh, Jad is pretty confident in his ability to win this match. I suppose letting him go first. I mean, maybe he's afraid of um, the Dark Rulers. And stuff like that. Maybe he just figured his opponent would be siding to go second. So he's possibly trying to make those kinds of cards dead. Looks like we saw a Lancia there, which is pretty unfortunate. It's, um, I mean, it, it's not going to do like a crazy amount of stuff, but that definitely does suck. Because um, we're going to keep him off the baby dragons for the free advantage. There's definitely points 
where the um, Lancia is going to have to alter his combo. Uh, his hand looks like it was pretty fucking terrible. <laughs> the looks of things. He's holding Chaos Creator though, uh, and that card is quite insane. So we have the Ash on. Um, I'm not sure what card that is. I cannot tell, uh, but we did end up doing an Ash. I think it was Ash on the Ravine. Yeah, we pitched Brotar, it looks like, and we Ashed on the Ravine. Just really trying to tell this guy he is just not playing. So Jad is again on three cards, so if he can push past this, um, we're going to have a hard time winning this game. So I'm not sure why we're seeing black come down here. Um, definitely illegal. Uh, however, unfortunately, I did not um, get the rest of this game. My phone did die. So I will just say the winner was Jad. He did end up pulling through. Um, I had to ask him about it, actually, because um, I, I, I did not remember. But yeah, unfortunately, that is it. So Simps, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just try to forgive me on this one. Um, I'm still trying to work out you know, exactly uh, how to set all this up and just the planning in general. But if you like these sorts of videos, I'm gonna again, I'm going to try to do this every time I get to Locals. I can't always make it, but when I can make it, usually about twice a month I can get out to Locals on a Saturday. I will record the feature matches. Uh, hopefully next time we have the full five rounds and not just three again, you know, with my missteps. And uh, I'll just bring a, <laughs> I'll bring a phone charger next time. But anyway, that's what I got for you, Simps. I hope you guys enjoyed it again, and I will see you next time. Don't forget to like, sub, etc. And uh, let me know uh, what you thought of the video.